Hey kids, here are 25 map tricks for the new maps of Overwatch 2. If you enjoy these kinds of videos, please subscribe and leave a like. It'll help out a lot. Thanks. Tip number one. In Esperanza, you often start off the map with these two high grounds. If you see enemy players playing from the bridge, you can quickly flank from these stairways to catch them off guard. I see snipers and long-range DPS players use this bridge, which is why this flank is extremely powerful. Tip number two. If you want to play around the push pod more, you can take the long way around the tower. I haven't seen many people utilize these health packs and cover, which is why this can give you a solid advantage in your matches. Inexperienced players fight at the main street, which makes this flank extremely potent to catch unaware enemies with their pants down. Tip number three. Moving on to the next common teamfight location. Again, in ranked games, you generally see people playing the main street, which is not optimal. There's very little cover in the open and you have to shoot in a bad angle if the enemy is using the high ground. You should definitely utilize the high ground on the longer side of the route. From here, you can basically shoot anywhere and with a fairly quick step, you can get a minor health pack from the bottom. Tip 4. And the last map trick for Esperanza. If the enemy is pushing through the last corners, you should take the few extra seconds to conquer this particular house. These two windows offer very potent angles to hold off the enemy and there is a mega health pack downstairs. You can even take the window out to find another shooting angle. Which of the new Overwatch 2 maps is your favorite? Leave a comment. Tip number one. New Queen Street is yet another push map that has a powerful flank at the end of each route. Here on the bus stop, you can take the entrance to the long side of the route, where you can find a path all the way into the enemy spawn. The whole flank is basically covered, leaving you with minimal risk of detection. At the last house, there is a mega health pack, making this an optimal flanking position at the end of the push to finish things off. You'll often find that the enemy is holding from the Hotel Monte Bianco high ground. This mega health pack room is made to challenge that position. Tip number two. Tip number two is less of a useful tip, but maybe you'll find some use for this. Near the checkpoint, you'll find this staircase leading down to a cellar called Egg House. You can actually cross the street to the bus stop from this fun little Easter egg restaurant. Maybe this tunnel is a solid way to cross the street unnoticed and do the tip 1 flank. Tip number 3. Lastly, we have another flank route at the end of the map. Here, from the far left, you can find a minor health pack near the staircase that takes to the enemy spawn. This route is not as strong as the flank from tip 1, but it is quicker. Use it as a long-range DPS like Widowmaker to pick off enemies coming from spawn. You can even try to flank the hotel high ground from here. Tip number 1. Circuit Royale is another great map with cool architecture to navigate through. To start things off, the very first building on the attacker's right side has a semi-open skybox, meaning that you can fly and poke above it. Here as a Farah, you can immediately set things off with your concussive blast and knock people away from the high ground, or simply just blast them with a couple of surprise rockets. Imagine comboing this with a Winston dive and you can win the first fight instantly. Tip number two. And this one is for attackers too. You should avoid the main street as a long-range DPS because of the openness. Take the far left route instead. Here you'll find plenty of cover and a major health pack. The high ground at the end of the route is actually stronger than the one defenders are on, since it's higher and since it has a major health pack. Use this to poke the enemy from good cover. On the left you'll see a ledge that you can use to quickly engage the fleeing enemy. Tip number three. Third tip is for defenders. When the enemy is closing in on the first checkpoint, you should definitely hold this position. From this little flank you can reach the high ground and a major health pack with very little rotation. On top of the staircase you can see the whole main route from a nice little cover. This is an extremely potent holding position for long range DPS. Tip number 4. Uh, this one's for attackers. When you reach the first checkpoint, you'll want to utilize the hidden staircase inside the slope. Take a right turn into the wall and you'll find a strong flank on the back wall of the map. You can go right before the very end to flank even more, but at the end of the staircase you'll find a solid high ground to contest the enemy. There's also a minor health pack right at your disposal and a major health pack downstairs. In Overwatch 2, you should always be looking for ways to be self-sustainable to make your support players' lives a bit easier. Tip number 5. Then nearing the final destination of the payload, you should definitely utilize the crazy strong high ground. On this route, you'll find a couple of health packs and a safe path to flank the main route. 
This angle is devastating to the enemy defenders as they're trying to look up on where the bombs and bullets are coming from. In addition to this flank, you can actually jump on top of the bar to get a cheeky shot on the last defending position. Bonus tip. Here's a little bonus tip for you. Closing in the second checkpoint at the ledge, you can shoot through the little gaps in the fence. This tip is for the sharpshooters as you can find a cheeky pick within a safe distance and plenty of cover. Hello. Tip number one. Next up we have mid sound and boy do I have a few useful tricks for this map. To start off with the first point, you can actually slide and do all kinds of crazy stunts on the top of the train. For example with Hanzo, you can wall climb the roof of the train, surf the top to get a quick shot at the enemy high ground and launch back out. You can do the same thing with Junkrat too. Tip number two. There are a couple more things you do in the first point to keep things fresh and the enemy on their toes. This is something you don't see people utilize yet, but I believe it's going to change after people realize the full potential of the map. Under the train there is a hidden path to the left. Here you can freely rotate to the opposite high ground of the enemy platform. There are also two health packs on this route. From the two windows you are free to pressure the enemy backline and even make your way to the house next to the point. Tip number 3. And near the first point there are two little catwalks on both sides of the choke point. These are very powerful high grounds for high mobility characters. Especially this latter one is fully hidden from the attackers. I've done many team kills by lurking up here and jumping on top of the enemy with the Reaper. Tip number 4. On the second point there is a great high ground angle for the attackers that I don't see utilized at all. From the cover of this window you can challenge the enemy position. This is a dangerous position for snipers as you can peek at the baddies at a head level. Tip number 5. Tip number 5 is on the second point as well. Here on the attacker side you can take this staircase and find a fairly hidden window. You can't actually access this window with every character as you need to be able to climb or jump higher than you normally can. But with Hanzo, Ash or Widowmaker you can definitely get a new angle to contest the enemies. Tip number 6. When defending the second checkpoint, some heroes can use the train station's window. This might not be the most subtle or clever place to hold at all times, but at least there's a mega health pack fairly close. Tip number 7. To finish off with Midtown, we have the strongest high ground in the whole map. This place is actually very much undiscovered by the masses, as you need to find this hidden elevator in the back rooms. Up in the high ground you are pretty much untouchable, as the only way up there is from elevator or by using some major movement ability. From the high ground you have the power to contest the main pathway all the way to the last corner of the map. Don't sleep on this one. Tip 1. To start off Colosseum you should definitely consider this far angle inside the arcway. This is a powerful location for snipers and long range heroes as there is a clear shot to the main route and a mega health pack to keep you healed. Tip number 3. <laughs> this building and high ground is hands down the strongest place to hold in this map. From these two windows you are covered to contest the push pod and the whole route all the way up to the end of the map. Furthermore, this angle is very hard to flank as you need access from the top row. Tip number 3. And near the checkpoint, there is a cool flank route you can use with certain high mobility heroes. There is a small obstacle in between the middle of the map and its health packs and the swirly route of the push bot. You can quickly disengage the fight by going past this object and find two health packs on the other side. Tip number one. On Paraiso, there are a couple of very useful flank routes you should take into your games. To start off, there is a fairly long flank on the first point, where you can find a major health pack and a staircase to the enemy backline. I haven't seen people utilize this route at all, which means that you can easily surprise people with it. The surroundings of the first point are a maze, which means that you can easily find new angles to contest the enemy high ground. Tip number 2. On the second point there is a very high risk, high reward flank route on the edge of the map where you'll find a major health pack but also a passage into the enemy backline. If you want to reach the enemy high ground you'll need some mobility like Ash's coach gun. But if you can get here you'll be an absolute nuisance. From here you can pressure the defender's squishies with ease. This flank has hard carry potential. Tip number 3. Nearing the final destination, there's a strong holding position near this bridge and a mega health pack. You'll often find that the attackers are pushing from the opposing high ground, making this position a prime spot to hold from. And that's it for the 25 tips and tricks for the new maps of Overwatch 2. By the way, I stream a couple of times a week on Twitch.tv. I might be streaming right now. Come take a look. Here's the link. It's here. Come. Whoa.